Nick speaking and welcome to this video right terrain square competition has started um, so I, as usual I'm going to be doing something along with you guys um, just to uh, keep the inspiration going and because I need to get what you see in front of you uh, painted okay so uh, just in case you're unaware the terrain square competition um, basically is a competition I'm running to inspire you to make ter to make terrain uh, you've got six weeks to build and paint your terrain um, and I have two categories uh, there's a square category make a piece of terrain on a square board any size um, and there's the open category uh, make a piece of terrain anything other than on a square board it could be anything you like it could be dioramas include figures absolutely anything the idea is to encourage you to enjoy making terrain now I do have some prizes up for offer, um, there are a lot more details to the competition so I put a link to the detailed video in the description below, go and check that out and if you're interested uh, put a comment below, email me and let me know you're entering then I can subscribe to your channel so I can see your updated videos. Um, you'll need to make a video showcasing your piece of terrain whether that's still pictures or a video either way um, and what it is I'll have some playlists on my channel and I shall put your entries into the playlist so that I can um, work out who the winners are um, okay not only that uh, just a quick reminder there is the uh, bonus uh, special voucher available uh, from laser cut cards and uh, all we need to do is get people making um, terrain with pieces of laser cut card uh, products on their board or on their um, open terrain and that will unlock some bonus vouchers like I said all the info is in the description uh, the video which is in the description below so go and check that out okay so I've got these battle um, scape crater things um, which I'm going to uh, convert stroke build and paint and uh, I've been working out exactly what I'm going to do I think I've come to some conclusions so um, I've decided that this piece here I'm going to make for my cities of death uh, terrain because um, I think it suits it quite well it's a nice sort of rectangular shape which would almost be the shape of, of a building um, and I have a big bag of cities of death bits here so I'm going to see what I can do. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I may just end up putting bits and pieces in the craters. Um, I may try and do some sort of um, wall here and there. Maybe something like that. Um, but that's my plan for this one, Cities of Death. And although I was originally going to have uh, this one for Cities of Death as well, um, I opened up my Cities of Death terrain box and I only have room for one of these in there. Um, so I'm going to make all four of these pieces Necron based. Uh, a few ideas which I've come up with is uh, this one here I'm going to paint this section metal. Uh, to me it almost looks like a bit of a monolith like uh, piece or maybe in one of the obelisks um, that they use. So I'm going to paint that metal. Uh, this here is also going to be like a, a satellite or something maybe that's fallen out of the sky. I'm going to paint that, that like a metal cutter with a green globe. Uh, section there. This has uh, like some lavery stuff which I'll probably paint in a, la a green lava colour. Um, that might be quite good to have a nice piece of dangerous terrain in there. Um, and then this section which obviously got these like meteors coming down um, I was gonna I thought it'd be quite good to use my uh, a laser cut piece of terrain within this um, just to try and help unlock the vouchers for you because um, like I said, uh, the more people we get uh, doing this, if we can get 10 people using laser cut card um, pieces, then we can unlock a £25 voucher. Um, if one person at least does that, then it's going to be a £15 voucher. So we should at least get £15 easily. But I reckon we'll get to £25 because some really, really great products in there. Um, so yeah, my idea is to have uh, possibly an obelisk um, or a sentinel like here within this piece of train and sort of almost have it damaged it will be rather than leaning up it's going to be leaning backwards like half buried so I can imagine this has all come down I like smashed it um, so that's my idea for that piece I thought that might, that might look pretty cool 
Um, now what I did on my craters is um, on these like flat sections is I basically just put sand on like all the edges so I'm going to uh, do that as well on them just to uh, match them into the board a little bit. Okay so yeah that is my project really really looking forward to seeing all of your projects and all of your entries and uh, from last year the, the thing that I enjoyed the most was seeing your projects go from like nothing gradually being built to the final stage. Um, really, really amazing to see lots and lots of inspiration there. Um, and if you're not planning on entering the competition, then I uh, really hope you enjoy watching everyone else's uh, projects um, because I'm, I'm no doubt there's going to be some awesome projects around. Okay, um, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Watch out for the next one. Hopefully, I would have had uh, a bit more, bit of work done on these. Right, thanks for watching.